welcome to another A-Level Computer Science video with me, Mr. Goff, from MrGoff.com. This video will focus on the D-Type flip-flop. A D-Type flip-flop is a storage location that can store the value of one bit and flip between the value of zero and one. D-Type flip-flops are combined together to create RAM and register memory. A D-Type flip-flop has two inputs a control input labelled D, and a clock signal. The D-type flip-flop is what's known as a positive edge-triggered flip-flop. This means that its state can only be changed from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 on the uptick of the clock. Each clock period has a rising period known as the uptick of the clock and a falling period. Here, the uptick of the clock is shown by the red arrows. You might be asked to draw the output for a D-type flip-flop given the clock signal and the control input signal. You'll do this by changing the signal in the output signal only on the uptick of the clock if the control input signal has changed. So we can see that this red line is actually the output that we would get from this particular D-type flip-flop. This can lead to some delays. If you notice here, the control input rises to 1 just after the clock tick H, but this cannot be recorded in our output until we reach the next clock tick at I. The truth table for the D-type flip-flop is as shown here. If the clock is not on a rising edge, that is, it's at 0, then there will be no change regardless of where the control input is at. However, if the clock is on a rising edge, then any change to the control input will mean a change to the values that are output. That brings us to the end of this video on the D-type flip-flop. Join me in the next video when I'll be taking a look at Boolean algebra. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise computer science. And until next time, it's bye for now.